This is Captain speaking. Ladies and gentlemen, please fasten your seat belts as we will arrive at our destination soon. Please do not use any phone or any signal devices. <sighs> at last! I can't wait to see New York in winter time! We will arrive in Miami International Airport in about 20 minutes. And in the name of uh, Sir Arts Airlines, uh, the pilots want to say thank you for flying with us today. Thank you. <laughs> Hello guys, what's up? Terra Arts Movie here with another super duper exciting tutorial and today I'm gonna be teaching you how to put yourself inside a plane. <laughs> so as you can see here, this is some handsome man, a very handsome man inside a plane and uh, this is the real deal. So it's just me <laughs> basically uh, sitting in front of a green screen. So um, this tutorial is not gonna be a very detailed tutorial because I already did like several green screen tutorials. So instead, I'm get I'm just gonna be giving you the link uh, in description and also maybe in this video about uh, uh, those uh, green green screen tutorial. You can uh, watch uh, them. Uh, for the detailed tutorial but today I'm gonna be uh, today I'm just gonna be showing you how I did it so basically I'm gonna be telling you what effect I use and everything so first thing first you're gonna shut your cell in front of the green screen of course <laughs> then you're gonna use a pen tool well pen tool is uh, called a pen tool but, but basically it cuts everything so just imagine it like a scissor oops there you go a mistake delayed it make sure you click your your um uh, video layer first and then yeah pen tool to cut everything that unnecessary in your video because you're only gonna need the green screen part there you go fit and then what I use for the green screen to, to remove the green screen is a uh, effect um, keying the wonderful key light and then screen color there you go pick it pick the greenish the most greenish color there you go change the final result to source oh I'm sorry I'm <laughs> I mean um, I forgot screen mat so change it from uh, final result to screen mat and then open up the screen mat settings so screen mat open up and then clip black make sure you crushed all the black until uh, the all of the green screen is black because black it means uh, uh, alpha channel like this and white represent your foreground which is should be uh, visible so as you can see here uh, in the foreground there's still some uh, gray going on here so we're gonna punch it down the clip white until all of it is white Yoo-hoo! there you go and then change it uh, maybe we're gonna change the soft color to source uh, I believe it will give you a better result and then change from screen mat to final result there you go um, basically done and then all you're gonna do is adding wait a minute I'm gonna turn it off choo choo so uh, it will be like this before <laughs> look at this and then you had key light right like uh, just what I did and then add some background below just like so and then what I did is I add some color matter from color matter is a plugin from a uh, red giant software so if you go to Google and type in red giant softwares just search for color matcher so uh, well you don't have to use this you can use like fact color correction basically any color correction like um, for example here uh, curves and then play with the red maybe because as you can see here the background is kinda uh, having some red color going on while my uh, uh, screen here is kinda greenish a little bit so maybe turn the red up there you go already match as you can see here very fast <laughs> using curves change it to red and boom there you go if you if your background is kind of greenish then green of course and blah 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 I hope you understand that but I'm not gonna be using that I'm using color matcher it's a life uh, well this uh, this background is kind of easy to do because it's kind of red but some sometimes you you will have 
to face a very difficult background or very complex background the color and everything and color matcher is very very easy all you gotta do is target layer set it to your background which is this one which is the name is aircraft and everything and set the target layer to the background and boom uh, automatically it will match the color of your foreground to the background very easy very fast and then spill killer spill killer is uh, as you can see here sometimes when you uh, shot a green screen footage there is some green color from your green screen a uh, reflect uh, on your face or your body whatever your foreground and with spill killer boom gone also I believe a uh, spill killer is a uh, third party plugins from breakdown software let me see key correct spill killer Woo! there you go yes it's also um, so make, sh make sure you you search for key correct uh, or for uh, from the red giant software it's very very good it's a life <laughs> not life saver actually it's a, it's a time saver because well for any video editor of course if you are a video editor or whatever uh, this uh, third-party plugins like this is very very useful except Keylight. Keylight is uh, from After Effects so yeah the only thing that is from After Effects is Keylight by the way if you don't have spill killer um, again you can use any uh, software inside After Effects I'm sorry not software any plugins like again color correction you can mess with the color and everything but for me spill killer brightness and contrast is uh, basically just from effects color correction brightness contrast and yeah match the brightness and contrast from the uh, background and then the light wrap what is light wrap Woo! as you can see here light wrap uh, if you zoom in in um, this before without light wrap after do there you go basically give a little gloomy um, on the edges of the uh, um, a foreground here to match uh, to basically blend uh, well with the foreground. Well, I haven't tried before, but let's see if we can actually use Matt Choker. I believe I, I don't know. Wait, uh, Matt Choker. Matt Choker is, by the way, it's uh, not a third-party plugin, so it's a plugin from After Effects. Let's see, and uh, let's see the uh, the softness here. Doesn't work. Wait. Um, this nope oh yeah this one uh, geometric softness but I don't know it's gives some ugly yep it doesn't work with this so <laughs> you find a way how to uh, you know achieve the same result as this light wrap let me know let me let let everybody know in the comment section down below so light wrap boom basically blend your foreground and background so it, it, it takes a little bit of the color from the background and uh, yeah to uh, to the foreground so it's gonna blend so to do this actually it's uh, very easy too all we're gonna do is tell the light wrap on the background which is again this one and then boom boom <laughs> the color is already matched to the background and uh, next is edge blur as you can see here before the edges is kind of sharp and uh, looking ugly and then edge blur boom there you go it's soft all right guys so uh, that's it <laughs> that's what I do and uh, oh I forgot <laughs> uh, as you see here is already looks uh, nice uh, not um, exactly excellent but nice um, to make it even more um, you know realistic even even though I believe this is not uh, really realistic but uh, it helps um, it's uh, basically shadow boom I add some shadow basically I just copy this uh, my video here just copy this video so if we solo this we can see oh it's not solo uh, this one solo <laughs> then See, so you can see here the shadow scan is basically just a shape of the video. So because it's it is the video, is a it's a it's a duplicate of this video right here, of this clip. And then all I all I all I did is uh, put some 
you can see here put some brightness and contrast and for the brightness i'm gonna bring it down contrast up and then another brightness and contrast bring it down and contrast up until it's completely black so become a shadow and then uh for the mask here i feather it uh, to around 13 so it will give you uh the uh, soft edges and then become a shadow basically boom add some shadow right there a little bit more realistic now what i uh because this the light is coming from here i want uh, this part of my body here uh having a little bit of shadow so what i did is very very easy it's just a solid layer like layer new solid make it black there you go it's just for example by the way and then with a pen tool create a freaking shadow like so and then um transform oops sorry i'm in mask and then uh feather it and then the opacity down boom instant fake shadow i'm gonna delete it <laughs> so there you go and then the second shadow basically another shadow so this is the big one uh the opacity is kind of low and then the other one is a uh, little bit um uh, smaller and the opacity is kind of uh, having a lot of opacity so as you can see here it's uh, a little bit more darker so there you go and another one to help the uh, realism is the light of course as you can see here if we having some lights lights from here definitely my face will have some light well you can do this in the when you when you shooting your video actually but at this time i uh i i, I do it kind of rushy so you can have some light here uh from the back of your body uh, basically just match the light from from your background but uh in this uh, uh for this video i kind of forgot to do that so what i did is i use a fake light from optical flares so optical flares is a three third party plugins it's not uh it's not coming from after effects it's a third party plugins from videocopilot.net yeah uh, I, I i believe you heard it <laughs> if you know after effects i believe you heard it and there you go video copilot and optical flares i just add some flares right here boom and put it here and basically blends everything like so so this is the result finished <laughs> so and then um the other one is uh uh the plane you you guys have been asking me about the plane Dear Terra Arts, is the plane um, uh, 3D? Did you made it? Did you, did you make the plane yourself? And did you render it with 3D's Max or V-Ray or whatever? Nope, it is from After Effects 100%. <laughs> if you guys don't believe me, I'll show it to you. So we render this. As you can see here, uh, this is our plane, like you saw in the uh, previous video. It's kind of slow. So as you can see here, the plane. And this is Element 3D. If you guys don't know Element 3D, Element 3D is also a third-party plugin from videocopilot.net. <laughs> the link is going to be in the description below. And uh, yeah, so um, Element 3D is a very, very great plugin. It You can import 3D <laughs> inside After Effects. If you don't believe me right now, check this out. So um, uh, camera tool, watch this. Boom! boom son boom look at that <laughs> it is inside after effects a 3d object inside after effects and by the way guys if you want to render um, a plane this realistic using uh, for example v-ray and 3ds max uh the render time is gonna be for, for my computer maybe it's gonna be uh 10 to yeah 10 minutes around 10 minutes with after effects of course maybe it will take like 30 to 1 minutes 30 seconds to 1 minutes that's that's crazy <laughs> a lot lot faster that's why we use element 3d i use element 3d <laughs> so this is the element 3d where is it my god where is it um doo -doo 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 -doo. oh there you go element scene setup and boom this is the airplane from the uh jet strike uh package so guys there you go uh <laughs> i already answered all of your question and uh yeah so for the for this one of course it's a green screen i already told you guys how i did it all the facts and you don't need third-party plugins by the way uh the only third-party plugins you need maybe the spill killer 
uh, otherwise the uh, and light wrap uh, light wrap you can you can use like uh, edge feather or more matte chalker uh, to basically just soften the edge or maybe use uh, some glowy uh, glow effects you know uh, stylized and glow you can try that to basically uh, soften the edges and, and everything um, yeah besides that everything is done inside After Effects you can you can do it uh, with all of After Effects uh, plugins and yep there you go but if you want to uh, buy all of these uh, third party plugins go ahead from Regen Software go ahead and there you go and also this I really recommend recommend you this uh, Element 3D because it's very very awesome and very very easy to use and render a lot faster <laughs> it's crazy alright guys so Terror Arts movie here um, thank you for watching and subscribing to my channel and uh, see you in the next cool videos and tutorials. Ciao!